Right now, he's out. The Rutgers basketball couch can today. For video, you have to see to believe, and we've got it for you tonight. We will have a live from the Rutgers with the very latest. And next, a corruption bust. We're going to hear from a Republican state senator on just how often pay to play rules in New York politics. And later, a bitter pill. We will explain why America's medical bills are killing us. We're going to be joined by Stephen Brill who wrote that cover story of Time Magazine that's got everybody talking. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French. Thanks so much for joining us this Wednesday evening, April 3rd. Well, we begin tonight in our region with a scandal out of Rutgers University. Their basketball coach, Mike Rice, fired today just one day after a tape months in the hands of Rutgers administrators finally surfaced, and it showed him shoving, grabbing, throwing basketballs at players during practice and saying stuff that we can't say on TV. I want to bring in Andrew Whitman, who's got the latest on video here that has got everybody still doing double takes and still with many more questions than answers on how this guy was able to get back to his job after administrators saw the video you're about to show the public. And Rich, the coach in question, ex-Rutgers coach Rice now, is shown abusing players and using some very salty language. The big question is, if Rice was suspended last December for his behavior, should he have been fired at the time? When you see the tape, decide for yourself. The outright abuse, caught on camera and costing Rutgers University men's basketball coach Mike Rice his job today. <laughs> Rutgers announced late this morning that Rice was fired after ESPN released this video showing him in practice hitting, kicking, and hurling basketballs at players' heads. And behind the bleeps, screaming obscenities at players, including homophobic slurs during his first three years as coach. The verbal abuse, the belittling. Yeah, I was like in total shock that this guy wasn't fired immediately on the spot. But instead, the team's former director of player development, Eric Murdoch, says he was fired after reporting the abuse last year. Murdoch also told ESPN that Rice used that same type of abusive language towards young boys who participated in his summer camps. Flip flops off of I mean, in front of, you know, 10 year, 10 year old kids. Coach Rice was initially suspended for three games, forced to pay a $50,000 fine and to take anger management classes. Rutgers athletic director Tim Pernetti now admits he made a mistake, releasing a statement that reads in part, quote, dismissal and corrective action were debated in December, and I thought it was in the best interest of everyone to rehabilitate, but I was wrong. Rice there's, also there's, admitting his guilt, no sharing an emotional apology. There is no excuse for it. I was wrong. And uh, I want to tell everybody who, who's believed in me that I'm... I'm deeply sorry for, for the pain and, and the hardship that I've caused him. Governor Chris Christie issued a statement after the Rice firing in support of the move, saying, quote, I completely support the decision to remove Coach Rice. It was the right and necessary action to take in light of the conduct displayed on the videotape. The way these young men were treated by the head coach was completely unacceptable. All of the student athletes entrusted to our care deserve much better. Rutgers, of course, no stranger to the headlines, last making the news three years ago when a student, Tyler Clemente, committed suicide after learning that his roommate had filmed and broadcast online an intimate encounter between himself and another man. Rich? All right, Andrew. Um, now, let's go live to Rutgers, uh, to the campus, in fact, where Firestone's Christy Duffy has been covering this story, and she's standing by with reaction from the community. Uh, Christy, I don't imagine too many people uh, standing with Coach Rice tonight. No, that's right, Rich. And right now we're standing outside the Athletic Center here at Rutgers. Earlier we were outside the Student Center where we caught up with a lot of faculty and staff here on campus who say they are equally appalled, not only by the actions they witnessed on that video there, but also appalled by the way Rutgers officials handled this entire thing, not coming out about it for months. It's terrible. It's appalling. It's an embarrassment for Rutgers. This is not what Rutgers stands for. Especially in light of the, the bullying that happened here a couple years ago with the Tyler Clemente case, um, Rutgers really needs to think about how um, they're dealing with bullying in the workplace, bullying on the courts, bullying amongst the student population. 
they should have investigated it sooner. They've, apparently they've been knowing about it for months and they only just did a, something about it yesterday. So it was, um, I think, too little, too late. Well, Rutgers is doing a good amount to um, promote equality, not just for LGBT students, but for all students. Just the other day, we had um, Lance from NSYNC come talk to our, you know, student body about gay rights and they focus a lot on, you know, our month this month is called Gapril and I think Rutgers does a lot to have everyone involved, not just, you know, straight students. And as you heard, the last couple comments there from students, they say that they believe that their university is being portrayed unfairly by this single event. They say that they're not proud of what Coach Rice did, and they understand that several years ago with the tragic death of Tyler Clemente because of a cyberbullying incident here on campus, they understand why the attention is being drawn to their university, but they point out that there is a lot that Rutgers does do to try and create an open and welcoming environment for all people of all sexual orientations um, and they all agree everybody we talked to here on campus though one thing everybody can agree on is how the university did not handle this event correctly and the question in everybody's mouth here today is that why did the Rutgers officials not disclose months ago the real reason why they were punishing coach Rice why were they not more open and transparent about what was going on with the coach and now that everything is out in the open they are not giving a more detailed explanation of why they handled things the way they did. Rich? Yeah, exactly. They gave a one-sentence explanation saying that he was fired. There's still confusion. The, the president, uh, according to the AD, he said he went all the way up to the president back in um, months ago. They showed him the video. The president said yesterday he's learning about this for the first time. So many questions they haven't answered, including will the AD and maybe even more Rutgers leadership still have their jobs when this is all said and done? Christy, thank you very much checking back in a little while. Okay, I want to bring in um, our next guest and someone who knows two of the principals here uh, personally. We're joined on the phone by Keith Glass. Keith is a NBA agent, former assistant coach at UCLA, also the author of Taking Shots. Keith, thanks for a few minutes. I appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure, Richard. Well, you know what's funny is um, for those close to Mike Ross and even those who covered him for his practices or there for shoot-arounds, they said this didn't come out of left field. This was a guy with, forget about a bad temper. Um, I, I heard Jay Bill is talking earlier today who covers uh, college basketball for ESPN. He pulled an assistant aside and said, you better do something about your coach, the way he's handling, both putting hands on kids, the way he's talking to them. Um, this guy's a problem. Five kids transferred from Rice's team as recently as last year. Um, you know the guy. This isn't a secret here that uh, he had some control issues, is it? No, I, I don't think it's a, it's a total surprise. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't see that video until last night, and I was very surprised. Um, so, you know, I, I have not been in practice with, with Mike Rice. Um, you know, my son Tyler had played at Rutgers for two years under Gary Waters and, uh, you know, did not have Mike. But, you know, I was very surprised. I, I thought that I heard things uh, about what was going on, but, Man, I, I think that clearly was, was way beyond what I thought. You know, if you could, uh, for me, Keith, uh, there's been conversations from someone who say, hey, you know what, this guy got caught on video. Remember when uh, Bobby Knight put his hands in the player's throat? Uh, this happens more than we think. I've heard a dozen coaches, former and current, guys who cover, they said they've never seen something like this. Put in context for us. Does this happen a lot more than we think, or is this beyond the pale from anything? You've been in gyms your whole life that you've seen. I, I think this is, is much more of an aberration than, uh, than, than a widespread thing. I, you know, I played high school basketball. I played college basketball. I've coached for 20 years. Uh, I haven't seen much of this at all. Uh, this certainly, as a player, never happened to me. Um, and I, I'm, I, I was just really surprised about it. I, first of all, I just don't think it's, it's obviously over the line. Uh, and I like Mike Rice. Understand that, you know, Mike Rice to me is a, is a nice person. I've known Mike a little bit. Uh, he's a family person. But nobody, including Mike, uh, could ever defend what, what we saw in those tapes. And, and honestly, I don't believe, I've been thinking about this all day, I don't think I've ever seen 
in, in any practice I've been in, I've been to Europe, I've been to the NBA, college, high school, grammar school. I don't remember seeing that. Um, and I, I think if that was done to me, I would have remembered it. Yep. And imagine your parent now looking at this video wondering, uh, time out, why didn't the school tell me about this? Now, you know another major principal in this, that's Eric Murdoch. And for those who remember, um, he had a nice Big East career, played pro ball for a little while, uh, affiliated, attached to the program. Uh, we see him right there on our screen. Uh, Mr. Murdoch, uh, by all accounts, was the one who released the video after apparently um, trying to shake down uh, the program for a million bucks. At least that's how the story is right now. Um, you've represented, in fact, you were the agent for Eric Murdoch. Uh, you surprised by his role in this, looking for a paycheck here to keep quiet about the video. Yeah, well, I don't, you know, I, I haven't represented Eric for 10 years, but I did represent him for about five years uh, toward the end of his NBA career. And a year or so, uh, we went, took him over to Europe, um, to Italy. Um, I, I think the situation with Eric is just as fascinating right now in that if what reports are, you know, that, that he was trying to get money to not release this, then obviously motives have got to enter into this. And I think with, with you know, Mike Rice's thing is on video. You can take a look at it. You can make a determination about what you think. And, you know, I know how I feel uh, with, with the situation with Eric Murdoch. I think we need to wait a few days and see where, what happens here. Um, if indeed it was part of a, of a way for Eric to make money, which has been alleged, you know, uh, yep. you know that that's a whole different thing. So yesterday when I was watching the the uh, outside the lines on ESPN, and I was sitting there with my girlfriend actually, and she was saying, "Well, he, he's he's that this is very nice. You know, he's uh, worried about the kids. I'd like to find out when Eric went to Tim Vernetti." I think those kinds of facts, not conjecture, are a little more important right now. All right, Keith, and uh, certainly I think everybody agree this is uh, going to be taught in 101 uh, from a university level how not to handle a situation. Keith Glass, thank you so much. I appreciate a few minutes. No problem.